Tunnel ionization is a process in which electrons in an atom pass through the potential barrier and escape from the atom. In an intense electric field, the potential barrier of an atom is distorted drastically. Therefore, the length of the barrier that electrons have to pass decreases and electrons can escape from the atom easily. Tunneling ionization is a QM phenomenon, as a non-zero probability event for observing a particle escaping from the deformed Coulomb potential barrier. Obviously this phenomenon is forbidden by classical laws, as in the classical picture an electron does not have sufficient energy to escape. When the atom is in an external DC field, the Coulomb potential barrier is lowered and the electron can tunnel through the barrier. In the case of an alternating electric field, the direction of the electric field reverses after the half period of the field. The ionized electron may come back to its parent ion. The electron may recombine with the nucleus and its kinetic energy is released as light. If the recombination does not occur, further ionization may proceed by collision between high-energy electrons and a parent atom. This process is known as non-sequential ionization. DC tunneling ionization Tunneling ionization from the ground state of the hydrogen atom in an electrostatic field was solved schematically by Landau. This provides a simplified physical system that given it proper exponential dependence of the ionization rate on the applied external field. When the ionization rate for this system is given by Landau express this in units where in SI units the previous parameters can be expressed as the ionization rate is the total probability current through the outer classical turning point. This is found using the WKB approximation to match the ground state hydrogen wave function though the suppressed Coulomb potential barrier. AC electric field The ionization rate of a hydrogen atom in an alternating electric field, like that of a laser, can be treated in the appropriate limit as the DC ionization rate averaged over a single period of the electric field's oscillation. Multiphoton and tunnel ionization of an atom or a molecule describe the same process by which a bounded electron, through the absorption of more than one photon from the laser field, is ionized. The difference between them is a matter of definition under different conditions. They can henceforth be called MPI whenever the distinction is not necessary. The dynamics of the MPI can be described by finding the time evolution of the state of the atom which is described by the Schrödinger equation. When the intensity of laser is strong, the lowest order perturbation theory is not sufficient to describe the MPI process. In this case, the laser field on larger distances from the nucleus is more important than the Coulomb potential and the dynamic of the electron in the field should be properly taken into account. The first work in this category was published by Keldish. He modeled the MPI process as a transition of the electron from the ground state of the atom to the Volkov states. In this model, the perturbation of the ground state by the laser field is neglected and the details of atomic structure in determining the ionization probability are not taken into account. The major difficulty with Keldish's model was its neglect of the effects of Coulomb interaction on the final state of the electron, as is observed from the figure. The Coulomb field is not very small in magnitude compared to the potential of the laser at larger distances from the nucleus. This is in contrast to the approximation made by neglecting the potential of the laser at regions near the nucleus. Perella move al. included the Coulomb interaction at larger internuclear distances. Their model was derived for short-range potential and includes the effect of the long-range Coulomb interaction through the first-order correction. In the quasi-classical action, in the quasi-static limit, the PPT model approaches the ADK model. Many experiments have been carried out on the MPI of rare gas atoms using strong laser pulses. Through measuring both the total ion yield and the kinetic energy of the electrons, here, one only considers the experiments designed to measure the total ion yield. Among these experiments are those by Chin et al., August et al., and August et al., 
Chin et al. used a 10.6 micrometers CO2 laser in their experiment. Due to the very small frequency of the laser, the tunneling is strictly quasi-static, a characteristic which is not easily attainable using pulses in the near-infrared or visible region of frequencies. These findings weaken the suspicion on the applicability of models basically founded on the assumption of a structureless atom. La Rochelle et al. have compared the theoretically predicted ion versus intensity curves of rare gas atoms interacting with a T-sapphire laser with experimental measurement. They have shown that the total ionization rate predicted by the PPT model fits very well the experimental ion yields for all rare gases in the intermediate regime of Keldish parameter. Analytical formula for the rate of MPI The dynamics of the MPI can be described by finding the time evolution of the state of the atom which is described by the Schrödinger equation. The form of this equation in the electric field gauge, assuming the single active electron approximation and using dipole approximation, is the following where is the electric field of the laser and is the static coulomb potential of the atomic core at the position of the active electron. By finding the exact solution of equation for a potential, the probability current is calculated. Then, the total MPI rate from short-range potential for linear polarization is found from where is the frequency of the laser, which is assumed to be polarized in the direction of the axis. The effect of the ionic potential, which behaves like at a long distance from the nucleus, is calculated through first-order correction on the semi-classical action. The result is that the effect of ionic potential is to increase the rate of MPI by a factor of where and is the peak electric field of laser. Thus, the total rate of MPI from a state with quantum numbers in inner laser field for linear polarization is calculated to be where is the Keldish back quote s, adiabaticity parameter and the coefficients and are given by the coefficient is given by where the ADK model is the limit of the PPT model when approaches zero. In this case, which is known as quasi-static tunneling, the ionization rate is given by, in practice, the limit for the QST regime is. This is justified by the following consideration, referring to the figure. The easel difficulty of tunneling can be expressed as the ratio between the equivalent classical time it takes for the electron to tunnel out the potential barrier while the potential is bent down. This ratio is indeed, since the potential is bent down during half a cycle of the field oscillation and the ratio can be expressed as where is the tunneling time? In a recent publication the main competing theories of tunneling time are compared against experimental measurements using the attaclock in strong laser field ionization of helium atoms. Refined attaclock measurements reveal a real and not instantaneous tunneling delay time over a large intensity regime. It is found that the experimental results are compatible with the probability distribution of tunneling times constructed using a Feynman path. Integral formulation